Guide is a software that allows you to generate training manuals by recording your screen and then capturing screenshots throughout your recording. And then it also generates an AI voice to make a video out of your recording. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use Guide and kind of walk through step-by-step -step how to record and how to get the video working and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna go over the cost. And then finally, we're gonna compare it to its main competitor, which is called Scribe. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel, but on the side, I like to review software products that make my life easier. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So this is what the interface first looks like. So it looks like I have 13 days left of my free trial. Now you can do most of this for free, just not some of the AI tools and some other stuff. We'll go over pricing later in the video, but I just kind of wanted to show you what the interface looks like. And then I want to record a guide and show you how it works. So I'm going to do the same recording I did when I did the scribe review video as well, which I will link below, but we're going to click guide. And then if I could get this thing off my screen, let me move that. Jeez, um, I'm not a fan of the pop-ups. Let's capture. So go ahead and click that. Now, the cool thing about this is it actually kind of wants a little bit more information to make your guide more impressive, to use better language in order to kind of maybe train its little AI situation. So I'm gonna say employee training. I'm gonna put how to use Canva to remove um, background, the background of a photo. Cool. I love this because I f can quickly type in a couple things and then maybe it'll make it better. Scribe does not have this feature. So go ahead and press goo. Capture is about to start. So now we're recording. You can kind of see it down here. The cool thing is you can pause. Now I wonder, I don't think you can do this in Scribe actually, but pausing is very cool because now you can pause in the middle and realize, oh crap, I need to get this out and stuff like that. And then restart, which I love, love that feature. So um, let's go into YouTube. Let's say I want to make a thumbnail and let's say I want to use this, um, edit image. And it's, it's capturing my clicks as I go, um, background remover, and then we shall see. Um, and so as this works, it's generating, it says, look, you've already made three steps. I love the counter. Um, I wish it was a little prettier, but that's something I haven't seen before because then you can kind of know what step you're on. And then we press apply and then it added a four. Um, and let's just say that's good. So now I'm going to stop recording. So, uh, I like to just click up here in the extensions and then it starts to automatically generate your stuff. I do like the fact that this right here, it gives you kind of a, um, table of contents. If we could make the video from, from not automatically playing, that would be great. <laughs> um, I'm really not a fan of, okay. Couldn't capture the titles, the steps to turn them into a magical video. Okay. Well, that's great. So click here, click edit image. So it's going to give you something really cool. So it will go ahead and look at where you clicked and put a little box around it an arrow and kind of hide everything else or kind of darken it edit image. So this is something you could just send to your coworker and be like, this is how I do a background remover, right? And this is perfect. Click apply, click here, click edit image, blah. And then it auto generates a video for you, which is also very cool. So if we have this, you can see it just kind of walks you through Now you can add um, a step to make AI in order to have like a voiceover of your video. If you want to edit the video, all you have to do is click up here, edit video, and then you can record your own voiceover. So you can just click this button and then select what microphone you're using and then just automatically record the voiceover. You can also do text to voice where you just type in the text as well and then have it auto like generate a voice using one of their sample AI voices. So there's some options there, which is very cool. That's something I haven't seen in a lot of like SOP training manual software. So I think that's cool. If you have bit better descriptions than click here, blah, and I'm doing a more intense uh, workflow, you can have AI automatically apply those steps to the video. Um, that pop-up we had earlier said that for some reason it can't for this one, probably because it was a very simple one to do, but I will show you kind of what that looks like. On my last one, I used 
basically, if we go to my guides, I used one for a smart sheet. And then you can see in this one, we actually have like click clients and the person actually speaks. So that's kind of cool. I like that, big fan of that. Um, and then it shows you how many people viewed it. Again, it's gonna look just like a step-by-step -step as well. So I've recorded a couple of these and I do feel like the, the editing the video feature is very cool because if you're gonna record it anyway, it's like, well, you might as well have a video as well. Um, Scribe doesn't actually do that. So I do feel like that is a cool feature. The other thing you can do is you can actually share this content. Um, you can copy the link, you can do a smart copy. So you could actually like embed this into, again, like a SharePoint site would be very cool to put that in. Like if you have, that's where all your SOP documentation is. You can embed it into SharePoint, which I love, or Webflow, I also love Webflow. Notion's great as well, I do love Notion. Um, and then you have some other options as far as exporting it. Here's your embed, this is what you would copy and throw this into a SharePoint site or Webflow or whatever. And then you can upgrade in order to get this as slides, a PDF or an actual video. So I do find that very cool as well. And then I do wanna talk a little bit about pricing. So there are a couple different plans. You do have a free option, which I love. So you can do up to 25 how-to videos. You have the little watermark, which is fine. I mean, they have to get you somehow, right? You can record a voiceover, share public links, cool, right? And then the pro, this is your unlimited, removes it, custom branding, exporting videos. This is the one that I think would be probably the best because of the text to voice generation, right? Because then you can just literally type in what you want it to say. The only reason that holds me back slightly from switching from a different SOP generation to this is the fact that I don't really necessarily need an, uh, it's, it, it sounds like a, it sounds like an AI voice. <laughs> you know, maybe if it's going to sound slightly better in the future and it really sounds like a person, because I just rather film myself. Why wouldn't I just record it? I can, I can say the words, it doesn't take that much extra time. I just, I hate as a user when I'm doing somebody else's, watching somebody else's SOP guide or whatever, I hate the sound of like a super tuned AI voice or like, please click here. I'd much rather just have a person read it out loud. So I'm gonna have to play around with that, but I do find that for most people that doesn't bother them. So you might wanna consider this one. And then enterprise, again, they're gonna have to like chat with you, especially if you have a large company. Now you've heard me compare this to Scribe a lot because they look very, very similar. And Scribe, I actually have the pro account. So when we look at pricing for Scribe, it's very similar to pricing for Guide. Now, this is what I'm using, the $23 per seat per month. And I've already paid for the full year, so I'm not switching anytime soon, but I might consider it if I play around with Guide a little bit more because of that, that auto generation of the video is very intriguing to me. So I might, I might have to look at that. But this is Scribe. If I were to compare the two, right? I think Scribe looks a little prettier, personally. Interface wise, now that's not a reason to completely switch or say one is better than the other, but I find it prettier. It's just a feeling when I play around with the software and the buttons, and the other thing is I can add pages. So adding a page and then in being able to embed Scribes into a page is very nice. So what I mean by that is I have a page where I can write out stuff and then I can embed that how-to manual right inside. So um, I'll just do a Canva one or something simple. I could embed that inside and then you could now have words and then it pops up on the side. To me, that's worth, the, the feature is worth me sticking with Scribe for now. Um, but it's something that guides should consider adding is pages as well as um, AI within those pages. So when I made this page, I used um, backslash AI, let me do an edit. And then I used actually AI to generate this SOP. So draft with AI and I said, write an SOP for, and then you can start, you can click things. So that's why I feel like they have a couple features that's really cool. So they're both different in their unique way. Like 
Scribe is really good for overall SOPs and then it also adds on those little Scribe how-to manuals where Guide is focused more on the AI voiceover, creating videos out of the Scribes and less on pages, unless I miss something. But that should be considered if they were to up their game. I also just don't find it as pretty, but again, that's just design choice, not a reason. So if you want more videos, Guide is probably better for you. If you want just training step-by-step um, -step tutorials, then Scribe is more for you. So similar, but different. Overall, Guide is a really good SOP generation tool. How-to guides, all that kind of stuff. Something I haven't heard of. So I'm very excited to be able to review it against Scribe because I've been using Scribe for so long. So if I were to give a suggestion, if you want videos, and I said this previously, if you want videos and you want the AI generated voice and you don't want to do like manual voiceovers or recording your screen and all that, I would suggest going with Guide. But if you just want step-by-step -step tutorials, um, no voiceover, no video, anything like that, but you want it in a page where you can embed the steps into an SOP, then I would suggest going with Scribe. So there's two different things. If Guide had incorporated the pages into it and then maybe worked on its interface a little bit, I would completely switch over because having the ability to have a video out of your recording is very smart. <laughs> I, I like that feature a lot. So that's what would convince me to migrate over to Guide. Now, if you wanna see the full video on Scribe, I have two, I will link them up here. So that way you can check it out and see the full review. Cause I know I briefly touched on it in this video, but I didn't go in depth in depth. So then you can kind of compare the two and see which one's right for you. So check that out. Otherwise I will see you guys next time.